so now we will initialize, initialize the flutter binding ok till now all the working of a file base is done so we have to initialize the flutter binding ok so for that we will simply write it top in here we will say widgets flutter there we go and initial initialized as you guys can see the suggestion okay because we added all the dependencies according to the firebase okay so that's why it's showing that suggestion okay semicolon at the end that's fine in here so now we will initialize the with firebase so first we will do in here we will say final okay and whenever we run it in the future so in here from firebase we will say firebase ape and we don't need this const key as you guys can see in here just simply tell this okay all good in here also remove that const now it's fine okay so we can name this as a initialization but it will be private okay okay let's find in here let's go initialize it firebase dot initialize app okay let's find in here so it's gonna be stored inside the initialization okay for now you will simply remove that material a from here you will add that later okay it's fine in here now we will simply return the future builder in here okay as you guys can see in here all good now it will take some parameters the first one will be future okay and in here we will say initialization okay that one in which we initialize the ape so that's why we wrote it here so in the future whenever we run the application it will initialize the ape okay first right after builder and contacts comma snapshot basically it will contain our data okay and now we will set the if condition in order to check it so let's say if and snapshot snapshot will contain all of our data okay snapshot connection state okay if it's equal equal to connection there we go connection state dot writing dot writing there we go and in that case we will show the output okay so what's that basically means in the future whenever we run the application okay and if it's contains some kind of data and their connection state will be equal to the connection state dot waiting according to any reason of floating or anything so if they will be waiting so only then we will show this output we are about to write okay so in here we will simply say return okay material ape and in there we will simply say home and right in home there will be scaffold widget there we go right in the scaffold as usual body okay and let's have a center widget in there and we will show that right in the center okay and here child again center child and go with text and in text we will show that okay we will say something like welcome to photo sharing clone app okay as you guys can see in here so if it's content data and their connection state will be equal to the connection state dot waiting according to any kind of floating so if they will be waiting only then we will show that okay otherwise 
we will not show that now right after in here we will say lzf we will set the another condition in there we will say snapshot dot as error if there will be any kind of error okay in that case we will simply show some output so for that we will simply copy that from here to here copy it and in here we will simply paste it okay as you guys can see so in order if there will be any error so we will say something like an error occur okay please wait or you can write anything in there all good now right after in here it run the material a that we removed before okay so in here first we will have a title and title we will give name something like flutter photo sharing clone app okay and right after we will be home and for now in here we will have a scaffold just for now but later on we will change this okay all good in here now we will simply remove those yellow lines okay so click on this material A and click on this yellow bulb and add this const modifier as you guys can see it's removed now let's do the same in here click on this yellow bulb const modifier there we go in here also all good as you guys can see ok so now if we run the application there will be a white screen ok and there will be nothing so let me show you that output for now but first you will come here and click on this device manager ok you will open the emulator I have already downloaded the emulator as you guys can see in here and if you guys don't know how to download this simply click on this create device okay and in here select any of the phone okay according to your personal choice okay and let's say if you choose this and then click next okay like this and in here select the api level 30 okay or 32 according to your choice okay and then in here click next as you guys can see in here you can also rename your emulator in here you can give any name okay whatever you want and then simply in here click on this finished okay and it will create the virtual device for you okay the emulator I have already downloaded two of it so I will not download this time I will simply close this in here so now we will open the emulator from here click on this play button as you guys can see connect into the emulator there we go we will remove this plus negative sign one by one ok and here click on this and we will disable that show zoom controls ok so it's removed now as you guys can see in here ok all good as you guys can see in here ok so now we will simply come here and click on this run man dot dot just simply click on this just wait for a while okay. 
so we got an uh, error let me see that so we have to change the minimum LDK version as you guys can see in here it's 16 for now we will change that to 19 ok so for that we will simply go to Android in here open that app and in here open that build.gradle ok in here as you guys can see minimum LDK version we will remove that from here and in here we will write 19 ok and also in here we will say multi in here texture enable ok as you guys can see in here send this to true because it's a new version of a flutter ok so in here we have to set this minimum SDK version to 19 ok and right after set this to true all good now just simply close that build or gradle and let's run the application again ok let's see now as you guys can see our application is running now ok and there we go with the white screen as I told you before ok because there is a scaffold in the home and there will be just a white screen but later on we will work on that and we will create a beautiful UI ok so now let's do the last thing to remove that debug banner ok from here this red line for that we will simply in here debug this one debug show check mode banner set this to false ok and it will be gone as you guys can see it's gone now let's copy this and in here we will add it ok and let me tell you one more thing in here we will set the spelling for sharing ok and now let me show you that text ok in order to check the connection strat if it's equal to waiting or not ok so for that we will simply come here and cut the process ok simply cut it like that and then run man dot dot click on that ok you guys will see the welcome to photo sharing clone app just for a second ok so let's wait for it as you guys can see it was there just for a few seconds and it was welcome to photo sharing clone app ok so if you guys didn't notice that move the video a little bit back and you guys will notice again ok that there will be a welcome to photo sharing clone app ok it will be just for a few seconds ok so that's fine and that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further